Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 663. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671. Hey, we're talking about the aggregate function, a new function in Excel 2010. Totally amazing. Video 661 all the way to 671. We're going to talk about the aggregate. Um, I have notes over here. We've already done a few videos and talked about some of the basics. In this video right here, we want to see just an awesome use. Lots of times we have columns um, and we have error values, whether they're not available. Here I'm doing a lookup, right? And I don't care. I want those not availables there to tell me that that product's not a product that I'm interested in. I want those there. But I do want to add. So if you Alt equals, that's the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. The sum function is just not going to deal with those errors. So before the aggregate function, you had to do this, equals or sum. There's other formulas also. You had to do sum, but then you had to do an if. And this is going to be an array formula that requires control shift enter. You'd say if is number, and you just highlight the column. Now if is number just gives you a true and false. So if you highlight this and hit the F9, you can see there's um, falses where there are NAs. Control Z. So the if function is going to take that series of trues and falses for the logical test, comma, and the values we want. Well, whenever it see the if function, the is number function sees a true. We want the if function then to dump whatever value. So we want it to dump that one, that one, that one, that one, et cetera, but not that one, into the sum function. So that was it. You'd close that off, close parentheses, and you can't just hit Enter. right? You'd have to, with it in Edit mode, hold Control, Shift, and Enter. So that's what you, you had to do something similar to that or that exact calculation if you wanted to leave those there. But no more. We can do aggregate. Just awesome. I've already used this a bunch of times in columns I have with errors. So the function number, as we talked about in the last few videos, there's uh, 1, through tw uh, 1 through 13 are uh, regular aggregates. The 14 through 19, you can have arrays. Here we just want 9, so I'm going to put a 9, comma, and then totally amazing, these new options. The ones we want are ignore. Uh, we looked at hidden rows last time. Let's look at the error values this time, so 6. So pretty much I'm just getting used to aggregate 9, comma, 6, comma, and then my column of numbers. You know, and it took me take, took me a while to kind of get used to it, but once I did it a few times, I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to avoid the errors. That will add. Now, most of the time people are not hiding rows. But if you did, like we saw in the last one, you're saying, uh, this record right here, that, that just was not a legitimate sale. I want to hide it. So you right click hide. And there's an unhide, too. When you right click the row header, there's hide and unhide. I'm going to say hide. What? Hey, wait a second. That didn't um, update. No problem. Let's just change the argument. right? So we do our 9 for sum comma, and instead of just ignore errors, we do hidden rows and errors. You know, sometimes you don't want to change, uh, uh, you want to add the hidden rows, but in this case, we don't want it. So we'll use argument 7, and then simply that range right there. And that will uh, give us what we want. All right, um, in this video, we're slowly go looking at all the different examples we saw. Ignore, ignore errors, ignore hidden uh, rows, just a great new addition, this one right here to in Excel 2010. All right, we'll see you next trick. Next trick, we'll look at uh, uh, how to avoid nested subtotals and aggregate functions when they're in a column. All right, see you next trick.